Hey, what's going on guys? It's Frolix here bringing you another video on the channel. In today's video, guys, we're going to be doing another spending spree. A bunch of you were saying, do another one of these. So I was like, all right, you know what? Let's do another spending spree. So today we're going to be buying a bunch of stuff in GTA 5 online. It's going to be pretty fun. So I hope you guys do go on to enjoy the video. If you do, be sure to drop a like on it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, don't forget to go and check out Digazani if you guys haven't already. If you guys want to have as much money as I do, you guys can get that. If you go and check them out, their links are down below in the description. You guys can use code Frolix and get a 10% discount. So definitely go check them out. Their links are down below. I also started selling merch. And if you guys are watching this video a little bit in the future, there might be some new merch available. So be sure to go and check that out as well down below, just below the description or underneath the video. Anyways, hope you guys do go on to enjoy the video. And without further ado, let's get it started. Okay, so it's been a while since I've done a spending spree. I'm just realizing this is a car I found off the street. It is like black with a really nice red fluorescent or orange. That's 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 really nice. Anyways, let's start buying some shit. So let's head over to the internet right now, and um, let's start off by going to the Maze Bank foreclosure site because that's where pretty much everything is here, most of the expensive stuff. So I think I'm gonna buy like most of the expensive stuff here. Let's see how much clubhouses are. Clubhouses are only 500K, which really isn't that expensive to be honest. All right, boom, there we go. Fully upgraded, $2 million total. That's really not that expensive whatsoever for a clubhouse. That's pretty cheap. But then again, I don't think I'd ever use a clubhouse. I don't think I've ever, I've, no, I haven't used it since the biker DLC actually. So yeah, I've, I never use those things. Okay, farmhouse bunker. Let's see, so obviously we gotta go all out on this. I think it's gonna be like four million. Four million seventy thousand dollars. That's not that bad, that's pretty cheap. That's still a pretty cheap thing to buy. Um, okay, let's go look at a hangar now. You know what, I think, no, nah, I'm just gonna stick with the same one I usually get. We're just gonna get the Fort Sancouder Hangar A2. Boom, 5.67 million dollars for that. That's a lot of money. Um, okay, let's see what else. We gotta get a facility now. So we're gonna go with this one. This is the most expensive facility you can purchase. Get that orbital cannon. Well, damn, this facility is on sale. It's on a huge sale. Holy crap, look how cheap everything is. Orbital cannon is like, what is that, like 60% off or something like that? Holy shit. That's really cheap. Okay, well, there we go. It's only 2.6 million to buy a facility. That's, that's a really, really good deal. If you guys wanna buy a facility, this is the time. This is the time to buy a facility. Holy shit. Okay, nightclub time. 1.7 million starting price. I think it's gonna go up to four. Oh, never mind. I forgot that there was this stuff. Two million dollars for storage. That's expensive. Holy shit. Okay, boy and girl is the most expensive. There we go. Dry ice. Grab that too. Boom. Five million bucks for a nightclub. Man, that is expensive. That is expensive. Okay, well, let's get an arcade now. So I already know that this one's the most expensive arcade. So we're gonna buy this one, the 8-bit arcade in Vinewood. All right, boom, there we go. 4.252 million dollars for the arcade. Okay, so now we got everything on this website. So that's awesome. Uh, I don't know how much we spent on that website. Comment down below, how much did we just spend right there? Um, but next up, we need to go and get a office building. So let's go and grab that. Maze Bank Tower, 4 million bucks, perfect. Let's fully upgrade this. Power Broker Ice. 6.6 .6 million dollars for that. Plus an extra 6 million dollars for all the garages. Totaling in roughly around 13 million dollars to buy this office building. And the thing is, you're not even buying the office building. You're buying a floor and then you're also buying a couple floors of garages which is extremely expensive. But if you were to do this in real life, it would probably cost more than $13 million, in my personal opinion. But let's see, how much this is gonna cost with the custom auto shop added? Totaling in at 6.8 million. So I think that's at around like 13 million, like 300,000 or something like that. That's crazy expensive. Holy shit, that is an expensive office building, guys. Okay, let's get the Arena War Workshop now. A weapons expert is extremely expensive. Plus, it's expensive to actually just upgrade the weapons. But there we go. All right, we got the Arena War Workshop. Now let's go and get a penthouse, because we just need a penthouse. Um, so we're just gonna get the high roller one because it's the most expensive. So boom, there we go. Six million dollars, 6.5 million dollars actually. It's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. Let's buy the Luxor Deluxe for 10 million dollars. Where is it at? Hopefully it's not on sale. Okay, it's not on sale. That's perfect. Okay, Luxo Deluxe, 10 million dollars for this private jet of shit. There we go. 
we got a beautiful Luxor Deluxe now. Now let's go get the Buckingham Swift Deluxe for $5.1 million. So we'll grab that. I apologize if you guys hear my dog barking in the background. Okay, we got a couple of helicopters, got a couple of planes, totaling I think like $20 million for three planes almost. Um, we do need to get a yacht still, and we do need to buy some stuff off some other sites. So let's go do that right now. Let's get a Galaxy Super Yacht. Probably the worst thing that you could possibly buy in this game is this, the Galaxy Super Yacht. I'm not even gonna lie, like, this is probably the worst thing you can purchase. But we're getting it anyway, just because. So, there we go. 10 million bucks for a yacht that you can't even drive. War stock. Okay, we got some stuff to buy in here. Okay, terabyte. Is there a difference in price? No, we're gonna pick that color then. Interior. Okay, I'm gonna put this one on because I like that one the most. Oh, boom, there we go. $3.448 million. That's pretty cheap. For uh, I mean, it's not even a building, it's a truck. But like, okay, maybe that's a little expensive. Um, Avenger now. This is on sale. Okay, let's see how much it comes to when you fully upgrade an Avenger that is on sale. It's looking pretty cheap so far. $2.2 million for a whole Avenger. That's that's a pretty good deal. You guys could fly away from oppressor rockets. It's that fast. Like, um, Okay, let's get an MOC as well. Ooh, that looks ugly. Okay, that still looks ugly, but whatever. 2.79 million. That's not that bad either. Like, it's not super expensive, but the funny thing is 2.7 million. That seems like a lot, right? Well, let's go to Legendary Motorsports. What's the most expensive car on here? 3.5 million. Would you guys rather buy a Formula One car or would you rather buy like a whole Avenger or a whole mobile operations center or a quarter of a yacht? Like, come on. Um... Okay, but yeah, we need to get Formula 1 cars. So this is the most expensive one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just order a bunch of them into this garage. Just cuz. So, enjoy the time lapse. Never mind, I'm not doing this. This is gonna be stupid. Literally, I have to go back all of these pages every single time to buy it. So I'm just not gonna do that anymore. But we got like three or four of these cars. So that's probably good enough. We'll just go buy some more Warstock vehicles. Right, Warstock sort by price that's what i wanted to do there we go okay p90 p996 laser expensive as shit bombushka yes that's how you pronounce it i used to pronounce it bomba bombashuka or something like that and then everybody used to roast me in the comment section we do need to go to the office building so we can buy one of these spaces for that thing I just remember we can't buy the Ruiner 2000 yet, but we end up like 10 other vehicles, so we're gonna need to go and do that real quick. Uh, let's see what else we can get though. Let's see what's down here. We got the B11 Strike Force. That's a pretty nice uh, Warthog jet. We'll get the Vigilante, order it to that garage. There we go. By the way, if you guys want any modded cars ever, or just any cool cars, or you want cars for free or something like that, go and check out my Discord. We got tons of giveaways going on in there all the time for just multiple things it could be for cars in game it could be just for like random stuff in general but go check it out if you guys want to join the links down below in the description we got like 3,000 members which is awesome so if anybody else wants to join um definitely do it just because why not right just go join it's fun okay uh okay so we got a scramjet as well let's see what else we got we got a pyro we need to get a pyro because yeah, everybody needs a pyro right FH1 Hunter. Okay, we'll get that. Oh, we need to get an oppressor. That's what we definitely need. We definitely need an oppressor Mark II, not the Mark I. There it is. Beautiful. $3.8 million. We'll put that right there. Just for the sake of it, we'll get a couple more. See, this. the pages don't glitch out on when I'm trying to buy an oppressor. It just lets me buy it. I don't get why it does it on Legendary Motorsports, but it's really weird. So I'll probably end up buying a bunch of cars later on. Um, but let's call in our Formula 1 car. Alright, boom. We got our beautiful F1 car right here. And uh, let's go ahead over to a clothing store. Right, we are at Z Clothing Store. Nope, I still can't buy anything because, you know, for some reason, in the middle of the day, at 7... Okay, no, I mean, it's 7 in the morning, but, like, still, the clothing store should be freaking open. Why is it closed? Oh, my God. Okay, so now we gotta go find a new clothing store that's opened. Oh wow, look at that. There is not a single clothing store on the entire map that is actually open. Okay, where do we leave off? We need to get a Valkyrie. Okay, we're gonna buy a couple of vehicles and then I'm gonna go to my office really quickly. And then, uh, so I'm able to purchase, you know, the other vehicles that I want to purchase, I guess. Okay, uh, the Volatile, Volatile, or however, I don't know how to pronounce it. 
you guys are gonna roast me anyways. Doesn't really matter. Um, okay, let's see. We got the that thing. We're gonna get the Akula for 3.7 million dollars. LF22 Starling. I don't know. Can that, can that plane float in water? I don't think it can. It looks like it could though. Um, okay, let's get a fire truck because why not? Everybody wants a fire truck for three million dollars. Let's head over to my office really quickly. All right, we have arrived inside of our beautiful and organization office building. Okay, let's get some vehicle cargo space. I really don't care. I don't know why she's still talking. All right, let's get our vehicle warehouse here. All right, we need a branded one. Click confirm. Click confirm. Click confirm. There we go. And that's all you got to do. That's that's literally wow. Okay, I thought that would take a lot longer. Uh, let's get some special cargo. We don't buy the small or medium, so we only buy the large ones because they are the most expensive. I believe this one's the most expensive at 3.5 million. Something like that. Yeah, let's grab that one. Yes, I'd like to purchase this. Thank you very much. Empty warehouse slot. Thank you very much. Why is she still talking? I can still hear my assistant talking. Like, shut up. Nobody is listening to you. Okay, shut up. Okay, I'm done with this. I don't want to hear her talking anymore. Okay, I'm not even there anymore. Why can't I still hear her? Are you literally sitting there just talking? You're not even talking. Oh my god. How are you talking two times at the same time, you idiot? We in the skies. Let's go land somewhere safe. Which actually I believe would be literally right on top of this building. So we're just going to sit here. <laughs> okay. If I can land. There we go. Okay, let's head back onto the internet of um, stuff. And let's go buy some nice cars. Let's see what else we got. So we got the Nagasaki Strider. This just came out like a while ago. Um, but we're still going to buy it anyways. Let's see what else we got here. What do we got? Um, is there anything that really... I don't know, maybe the Krieger? I guess. I don't really buy supercars too much anymore. They're like... I don't know, they're so expensive. It's just not worth it buying it at all. I mean, we'll get the R88 as well, since we already got the, the PR4. So we'll grab that too. Okay, let's get some more... Let's just get expensive shit, honestly. Um, what do we got here that's expensive? Let's get the Tesseract. That's expensive. Order. Office Crush 2. You know what? I really just don't even like supercars that much. So I'm just going to back out of this. We are going to go to Warstock. And I'm going to certify price. Just like this. Almost. Here we go. There we go. Just like that. Um, let's, get, let's get these vehicles now. We have to buy the Ruiner 2000. We have to get some of that other stuff too. Um, okay, Ramp Buggy. Yes. Damn, you gotta scroll down really far to find these vehicles, like holy shit. Okay, technical alcohol. These aren't even expensive, they're literally like 1.4 million. They're not cheap, but they're not expensive. I mean, some of them are. Some of them are extremely expensive, like the Ruiner, that shit's expensive as hell. Um, okay, let's just, oh, we need to buy the Invade and Persuade tank, so we'll grab that real quick. Um, what else do we want here? What else do we want, boys? Let's get the Stockade, just because we don't need it at all, literally. I'm never going to drive that thing. Let's get a scramjet. Ooh, I like the scramjet. All right, we're going to buy a couple of these. We'll buy like two, maybe three. Because why not? Just because why not? There we go. Okay, let's go down here a little bit. Let's see. Should I buy another laser? No, I can't buy another laser. What am I talking about? Let's go to the Arena War site here and buy some upgradable vehicles because they are expensive. So we'll get the Cerberus. Okay, we'll get the Brutus. Just like that. Ages. And then we'll just get the, the little tank thing. And there we go. They should make that tank into an actual tank. Like, an actual tank. That would be pretty cool. Like the one in Fast and Furious. Alright, we're back in a brand new game. Clothes stores are open. Let's go buy some clothes, because that's what I wanted to do this whole time. Because clothes are expensive as hell in this game. I think last time I asked you guys to calculate exactly how much I spent on clothes and I think somebody said it was like 10 million dollars or like 13 million dollars or something like that like that's a crazy amount of money there's a deluxo following me this is not gonna go well especially since I can't drive oh no oh he's got f1s on it Ooh, that's beautiful I don't know if he's gonna kill me or not but just to play it safe I'm just gonna drive away 
I apologize if you're a fan. I'll just drive over here and we'll do a perfect parking spot and not hit that guy by like two feet because you know that's what we do. All right, let's go buy some beautiful clothing items. And I hope you guys enjoy the time lapse here because I'm just going to speed this shit up and uh, just watch the money in the top right hand corner. Let's get this thing going. Okay, well none of the, these outfits are expensive anymore, they're all much, like, much cheaper outfits, except for these ones. We'll just buy a couple of these ones, but I'm actually going to wear one of these outfits, these are my favorite outfits. So we're just going to throw on, I don't know, something like, something low-key. We'll just throw that on, that seems nice enough. We need to buy some guns, and we need to upgrade those guns. What am I doing, guys? I'm missing out on so many little things I keep forgetting. Alright, we have arrived at the gun shop. Let us buy some, some guns. Alright. Let's start all the way over here. Full rounds, fully upgraded all. Some of these guns, I really just... I mean, they gotta put more upgrades on them. Like, see these older guns? Yeah, they're good, but like... If they had as many upgrades as some of the newer guns, they're just like... Even adding them to, um, what's that thing called? Where you, you upgrade them to the Mark II weapons? Like, there's just so many complaints I have about this game, but... I don't know if they're ever going to fix them or not, like, you know, adding more ammo, you can hold more ammo for the Mark II weapons, or adding some other guns to become Mark II weapons, like, you should be able to make every single gun a Mark II weapon, like, come on, uh, let's see here, and you should be able to carry a lot more ammo, unless you can upgrade that, but I'm not too sure about that, I've never been able to carry more than, like, 500 bullets or something like that. Okay, we'll just buy that, it's just like that. Man, there is a lot of shit to buy. There is a lot of shit to buy. Why did I just get a notification from DoorDash? I didn't order any food. But thinking about food makes me want to order food since I'm stuck here. So I think I'm gonna order some food. I think that sounds like a plan. What's your favorite kind of food? If you're watching right now at this point in the video, comment down below, what's your favorite kind of food to eat? Like personally, I love pizza, I love pasta. Um, I've never really been an ice cream person. And the only reason for that is I can never really just finish it. I don't know why, but sugar for me, sugar, I used to love sugar. I used to just eat candy out of buckets. Like I used to go to Walmart and buy a bucket of candy and eat the entire thing. And now I just can't do that. It just, I, it just doesn't taste good. I just never do that now. Um, so yeah, let me know down below in the comments though. What is your favorite food of all time? What's your favorite food that you would eat literally for a month straight? If you had no other food to eat and you had to eat one specific food, what would that food be? For me, I think it would have to be... I think it'd have to be different kinds of pizzas. I would go for different kinds of pizzas. Or if it had to be one pizza, it would definitely be a meat lover's pizza. For sure. Definitely. Yes. Or pasta. It would be pizza or pasta. One of those two. 100%. Alright, now let's hop inside of the MOC. And let's go upgrade our weapons. Oh, perfect. We're right here. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, let's start with the SNS pistols, 75 grand. We can barely put anything on these guns. That's that's what I really hate. Like I've already done all. Like I've, I'm. Ooh, I like the suppressor actually. I really like the suppressor. Yeah, that looks dope. Um, but yeah, I already unlocked all of this stuff on a different character. It's just I can't, you know, have it on two characters unless you upgrade everything. But if you make a second character, you can't do like the time trials multiple times, which I don't understand. So. Why can't we just re-unlock stuff? Like, we can already transfer our level of 120 over to these characters, but some stuff just doesn't want to transfer. Like, of course, they're not going to transfer, like, cars you bought or anything like that, but, like, come on, Rockstar. Just, just make the game a little bit easier so we don't have to waste so much time doing this shit or, like, just anything. Like, do you know how long it took me to actually upgrade, or not upgrade, um, to unlock all of these like things when that bunker dlc came out and i got all this stuff holy crap it took me like i think it took me like the entire day to get everything or it probably took a lot longer than that i can't remember it was such a long time ago pump shotgun this is my favorite one too my the pump shotgun is like the best one because you guys can get in the magazines wherever they are cartridges uh, cartridges where, where's the magazines ammo types there it is 
yeah explosive slugs that shit is incredible it's incredible guys literally just it just blows everybody to pieces like cars the heavy sniper though is pretty tanky i'm not gonna lie it's it's pretty tanky okay let's finish upgrading this thing tint as well um i don't really want to upgrade these i want to upgrade the sniper though yeah 157k magazines look at that rounds 12 how many rounds do we actually get though like i want to see how many round how many rounds we actually get like it comes with some sick ass stuff too like thermal scope that's probably the best one the night vision one's okay but i think thermal would be the best one that you could possibly put on this gun okay well we got that stuff so let's head out of here look how much space is inside of this there is no way the moc is this big inside like that is crazy did they upgrade this or something like this looks huge this looks massive there's no way that that can fit in here like look at the size of the moc outside compared to what it looks like inside like there is no way on earth that all of that is inside of there i know for a fact actually that yeah 100 percent. what <laughs> come on like i know for a fact when you go inside any building, it teleports you somewhere else on the map. I know that for a fact. I just don't know where the MOC teleports you. Look at this. Look what we got here. We got another armored truck. I wonder what will happen if we throw a sticky bomb on it. Oh yeah, I forgot. Rockstar literally added these trucks back into the game, but they decided not to allow you to be able to blow open the back doors. Or, I mean, steal money from them. Look at this. Back door opens. Oh wait, where's my money? Nowhere. And I don't even think that you guys can actually get inside these. I've, I've tried before. I killed the drivers, and I wasn't able to walk inside these things. Like, I don't understand why that is. Is that literally a cop? The armored truck is actually a cop. Die. He literally won't die. Like, they just won't. It's, it's so stupid. Who do I look like? I look like some freaking... Oh my god, that scared me. I look like some random dude from a movie. I can't remember who it was, though. Okay, let's go off this ramp right here. Or, or not. And then I die. Well, what is wrong with my screen? What is... Do you guys see this? Do you guys see this shit? Do you see what... What the hell happened? Am I on, like, bull shark testosterone or something like that? Do you see how weird my screen looks? This is not just me. No, there's something definitely off. Okay, maybe... Is this gone now? No, all the buildings are bent. Look at that. That is really weird. Some random shit is going on here. Yeah, I'm really confused about what is happening. Somebody let me know in the comment section. But, I mean, guys, we spent a pretty decent amount of money today. I didn't want to do a really long uh, spending spree. I wanted you guys to just enjoy a little tiny little spending spree that I was doing here. But I am going to be live streaming in the near future if you guys did make it to the end of the video and you want to hear about that. I'm doing a live stream in the near future and we're going to be doing a couple of giveaways in that live stream. So if you guys do want to tune into that, I'm going to do two giveaways at the start of the live stream and then a couple other giveaways just scattered out throughout the live stream. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today and thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more and I'll catch you guys in the next video.